Rivers and lakes across the desert are seeing lower water levels as the mega drought continues. That's the case with nearby Elephant Butte Reservoir in south central El uh, New Mexico. Rather, and ABC 7 New Mexico News Operations Manager Tom Scott is live from Elephant Butte, and meteorologist Katie Frazier also joins us to explain how the decreased water levels will impact the region. At this point in time, water levels at Elephant Butte are less than one eighth of its full capacity. Tom Scott has been out at Elephant Butte Reservoir all day. Tom, what does it look like out there to you? And are people able to walk around in places where they may not have been able to before? Well, Katie, as you can see, I'm kind of standing in an area that uh, used to be a lot higher uh, for levels of water. It's near Rattlesnake, uh, Rattlesnake Island kind of about 700 yards from the west side of the lake and it was all underwater. Well, these folks over here decided to take in some fishing and they drove their car right through where I am. It's about knee deep to take in a little fishing action on the other side on this island. And you're seeing islands like this pop up throughout the lake. But I'm told that the lake is at about 12% capacity. So there's a lot of water out here, but still you can see as I can see in the distance, you can see the bathtub rings where the water's receding. And in about a month, when the water will be released to the farmers, where they'll be getting about five inches per acre foot for irrigation purposes, all the way down through El Paso as well, uh, this lake will continue to recede. So this is kind of a look of what we're seeing here. Um, I'm able to walk through a portion of the lake to get to an island that really wasn't there not long ago. Back to you. Thank you so much, Tom, for visualizing that. I mean, how interesting that people can go to places they may not have been able to before just because the waters, water levels are receding so much. Thank you, Tom. You could head home now. <laughs> but earlier today, I spoke with a National Weather Service meteorologist to get more insight on the future of water levels at Elephant Butte. We would probably rely a lot more on well water down here. Uh, we've been seeing that in other portions of the South, uh, U.S. Southwest, where rivers do dry up and uh, that water, that flow of water is not existing anymore. You're more reliant on well, well water, you're more reliant on other sources uh, of water and different types of agriculture and different types of land use. And Connor shared with me that if this drought continues, farmers would have to rely on the upcoming monsoon rains for water this year and the years ahead as well. Because of Elephant Butte's variability due to the monsoon, it will likely continue to be a source of worry and uncertainty for farmers for years to come. Reporting from the studio, Katie Frazier, ABC7. All right, Katie, thank you.